Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got nice underground parking and as we're early, there's plenty of space. 403. We're just getting a lift up now, aren't we boys? Okay. There we go. Okay. Um four oh three, I think. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Four or three. Oh. Oh. This is my car park somewhere oh. underneath. Hard to drive it down. Uh, yeah, we'll be. Yeah, go on there. That's lovely. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Samuel. Oh, wow. Hey, wow. <laughs> Look at this, Samuel. <laughs> Right, we've just arrived at Butlin's Minehead in the Bayside Apartments. It's February, lovely day for February. Very close to all the amenities. Yeah, there's a lane at the door. And this is our apartment. Beautiful view out towards Minehead and over the sea. And there's Thomas. In his Willy Wonka hat. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Do you like the apartment? This is our kitchen. Yeah, got a full size freezer. Full size freezer, that's good. And Shame we haven't got any frozen food. <laughs> got a separate fridge. Washer dryer. Washer dryer. Wash. And the good old dishwasher. And the toaster, and the toaster, uh, kettle, usual stove, microwave, microwave. Nice, nice oven, yeah. Lots of um, cupboards. Oh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then um, some nice sized boots as well. Brilliant. So those little things, you know, what you get. Let's mm -hmm. just, just go into the boys' room a minute. Sam is making himself a little workstation for the gaming and the boys actually have an ensuite. Wow. Just go and have a look at the view. Wow, this is a brilliant view. And you're looking up out towards paradise of course over there to Wales and there's Minehead and this is mum and dad's room here's our ensuite <laughs> and this is our balcony. Nice and sunny for a bit chilly. Yes. We've just come out of our room now and we're just heading over to the Skyline Pavilion. It all looks like it needs a bit of a clean or a paint. arrival time folks yeah we're mum and dad are 
reminiscing that we stayed in one of these when we first got together before we were married I think and we had one of these yeah We had early check-in, so we checked in at one o'clock, but these are all arriving now because it's four o'clock is the proper arrival time. And it's, it's like madness here. You think these apartments are being improved? Something exciting is happening behind the scenes. Row after row of chalets. Now we're leaving the chalet, so there's the supermarket over there and we're coming into the caravan park which is also part of Butlins. But I don't think they're all owned by Butlins. It's very nice. Nice and quiet after all the people arriving in their chalets at the same time. Very peaceful. <laughs> this is um, another part of Butlins where we could stay in a caravan and it's really peaceful. Papa's caravans, three bedrooms, sleeps eight people. And they've got their email address. And some of these are lovely. They're right on top of the lake. Wow, this... This would be a lovely place to wake up to, mind. You can see there all, all around the lake. That's really lovely. You can see the Skyline Pavilion in the background, so you've got a bit of a, a walk. And this one has got a big caravan and a big moat home. That's a little bit greedy. We've just found the Highwayman pub and when Mum and I came here very such a long time ago, we met someone in it that reckoned that he was in Dr. Hook. I think they sang Sylvia's mother said. There's some of the other chalets. Long, long rows of chalets. The 
This is Civic War. Pacific War. This is Surfer's Point. <coughs> Lots more chalets. Don't think it'll be possible to have so many people in one holiday camp. The two entrances to Butlins. Yeah, we went in the second entrance. Now this was the other entrance with some lodges over there. And this is the car park. To West Lakes Village. Just walking through the car park, the main car park. That's the chalet office. I suppose that's where you go. If you've got any problems with your chalet, there's a lovely fountain here. This is... This is very nice place. One's on the edge of this lake. That's a lovely outlook, but... You might want to go to the toilet all night here or not. See the contrast between those. And these.
these are very nice indeed. I don't know how near to the lake you have to be to be classed as lakeside. Go across the little slippery bridge. Wow. Really lovely, I would like one of these. They've even got their own resident swan. They're really something else, I must admit. These are a lot nicer than I was expecting. There's a heron flying. So glad I got that. We're right on the edge of the countryside here. A lot of wildlife here. Absolutely beautiful. They've also got their own little play area, especially for them. You can see the skyline pavilion in the in the foreground, in the back. Take two. You can see the skyline pavilion just through there. Thomas. Robots, sir.
We have a beautiful rainbow right outside the window. I just tried opening the balcony door and then the clip, it just blew up. <laughs> It's very windy today, isn't it? It is only February, mind. Wow. I'm just having a bit of a walk around. There's the goat pants. Go kart all ready to go. I didn't manage to get on those because it was raining all the time. And there's the go kart track. I love the Butlin's car. Wonder if this is open yet. Well, this is a bit more civilized than it was last night. Costa Coffee's not even open. Well, Costa Coffee are just opening their doors now. Yes, I've never seen this place so quiet. Burger King is not open. And this is where we, we always seem to be queuing to get into the centre stage where you went to see the mass singer and the pantomime, Jack and the Beanstalk. Just going up the boardwalk now. This is where all the shops and things are. That's the Butlin shop where you buy your little souvenirs. Chopsticks, that was a lovely Chinese they had. The supermarket. Personalise your own t-shirts, hoodies and bags. Holiday booking shop. This is Butlin's equivalent of Nando's. And that's the inn on the green. Looks quite a nice pub, we never went to go in there. This is the beach coma in there, sort of equivalent of weather spoons. We never went in there either. Should be ashamed. Didn't go in any of the pubs. This is the climbing wall and the high ropes. And we're just coming up to the swimming pool. The kids playground. There's no kids in there, so we can film it now. Wow, they certainly do cram a lot of things in here. Splash water world.
there's the basketball court and here's the archery range. We were going to do this. football pitch is a little bit waterlogged. Now this Studio 36, it looks like a brand new building, they're working on it now. I think I've seen it in other YouTube videos in other Butlins resorts. Looks pretty good. Uh, no idea what they're going to use that for. Absolutely enormous inside. This is where we checked in. But sadly, everybody's checking out now. And this is the back of our hotel.
If you liked our video, please subscribe and hit the like button.